Glory to God, we are live. Welcome to Morning Koyonia this morning. We are in John chapter number 17. John chapter number 17. John chapter number 17. John chapter number 17. Glory to God. John chapter number 17. Um, is where we're studying this morning. Get your Bibles. Like I, show, like I said yesterday, John chapter number 17 is actually um, the Lord's Prayer. Jesus prayed in John chapter 17. If you want to know how Jesus prayed, if you have them Bibles with red letters of Jesus, you find that the whole chapter predominantly is red letters. Jesus praying in John chapter number 17. But uh, before we do that, let's go straight into God's uh, um, our declaration this morning. Our declaration this morning. One, two, three, go. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the beloved of Abba. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord and I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel and prosper in all that I do. I have the multiplier's anointing. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. The supernatural is natural to me. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's do that one more time. I feel led to do that one more time. Maybe not for you, maybe for me. One, two, three, go. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the beloved of Abba. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. I have the multiplier's anointing. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. The supernatural is natural to me. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. John chapter number 17. Father, bless your word in Jesus' name. Give us understanding. Um, enrich us and energize us as you are revealed. Unveiled, we are revealed in Jesus' matchless name. Amen and amen. John chapter number 17. Jesus spoke these words. Lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, this is Jesus' prayer. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may be glorified in you. As you have given him authority over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. To as many as you have given him. He has given them eternal life. And this is eternal life, that we may know you, the only true God, Kai, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Let's read again, three. That we may, this is eternal life, that we may know you, the only true God, Kai, there is, which is, that is, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you 
on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourselves. With the glory which I had with you before the world was. Six. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of this world. They were yours. You gave them me, and they have kept your word. Now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the words which you have given me, that they may receive them, and have known surely that I came forth from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them, and I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me. For they are yours, and all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father. Keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. Verse 11 again. Now I am no longer in the world, meaning I'm about to leave death, burial, and resurrection, but these, in the, these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, except the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. He said, everyone you gave to me, none is lost. Except the son of perdition. You know the son of perdition. His name is Judas. Who did not believe. Who was not saved. Who did not accept Jesus. So to put it in perspective. Before you say, oh yeah, that one lost his salvation. No. He, was, he didn't believe. I've showed you that before. He wasn't saved. So stop using Judas as an example of somebody who lost salvation. Don't do that. That's really biblical illiteracy. Yeah. It's except the son of perdition. Not the son of God, not the child of God, the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and your word has hated them because they are not of the world. Just as I am of the world, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world but that you should keep them from the evil one, the devil. Evil one. Um, yeah. They are not of this word, just as I am not of this word. Sanctify them by your truth. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. So we are made sanctified by the word of God. Hagiosmos. Divinely abrogated on commonness. Yeah. The, verse 18. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself. So if you think sanctification is sinlessness, what you are saying is Jesus is saying, for their sake, I remove my sin. No, he said, for, for their sake, I set myself apart. So sanctification is hagiosmos, holiness, set apartness. It's not a state of sinlessness. It's divinely abrogated uncommonness. Yeah? Yeah? Verse, verse 20. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who believe in me through thy, their word that they all may be one as you. Father, 
are in me and I in you, they also may be one in us and the word may believe that you sent me. 22. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them. And the glory, the same glory which you gave me, I have given them. That they may be one just as we are one. That is why we don't sing you are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any man, no. He has given me his glory. I carry his glory. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them. That they may be one as we are one. I think it's quite clear. It's, an, it's clear. I am in them and you are in me. I am in them and you are in me. That they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and I have loved them as you have loved me. I carry God's glory. I'm not sharing it with him. You will never share your glory. No, I carry God's glory. I'm, an, I'm a full expression of the glory of God. And I know that this truth in and of itself will attack some people. It doesn't mean that I'm attacking them. It's just, just preach the truth. I read the Bible to you. And the Bible is what we're loyal to first. Yeah. The oneness here is one in Christ. The reason the church, somebody saying, the whole chapter, Jesus saying that we should be one, where well, it looks like we are divided. Let me show you where the division comes from. It's not even hard. It's not rocket science. It's not deep. The oneness he's saying is that we may be one in Christ. What causes this division is that they want to be one outside of Christ. So those of us who are one in Christ are one in Christ, to be honest. It is the people who want to do things outside of this oneness in Christ. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. That's where the division comes from. But well, it now looks as if it's people like us that are making division. No. America needs to hear this. Follow the logic church underscore Houston. I'm coming to America. Karen, follow the logic church underscore Houston. But so, and I'm with Berichi who said something that the whole chapter Jesus is speaking that we may be one. It looks like we are divided. The division comes from the manipulative gospel. The prosperity gospel. So, you know, when... I've said this too many times. When falsehood becomes an institution, truth looks, truth looks like rebellion. It doesn't mean that we are the ones causing the division. We are just making alignment that, no, this is the path. And I, I really don't apologize for that. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Yeah. 23. I in them and you in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and I have loved them as you have loved me. See, watch this again. This is where they will fight with us again. I in them and you in me that, the world, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me. Watch this. And have loved them as you have loved me. Yet, people don't get it that God loves me. God cannot love Jesus more than me. You see what I just said now? God cannot love Jesus more than me. Can cause fight in a religious gathering. How dare you say that? God cannot love Jesus more than you. But did you just read? And I've loved them as you have loved me. We don't have to give up anything to get anything from God. Because you didn't give up anything to, for him to give you everything on the cross. 
You don't have to give up something to get anything from God because you did not give up anything to get everything from the cross. When we give, we are responding to what he has given to us. It's just belief. Why is this hard? Why is just belief hard though? Is just be, where is this just believer? Is here that you have loved me as I have loved that that you have loved them as you have loved me. You have loved them as you have loved me. It's really simple that I am as loved as Jesus is loved in the Godhead because I am now in Him. Glory to God. Why is this hard though? This is hard. But I've seen a, a, a significant person in the church saying that this teaching is rubbish. I can you say we are as loved as Jesus? But Auntie Mommy the Lord, look at it here now. And have loved them as you have loved me. So you are telling me to believe your sentiment of God. Now here fight they start to. This is where the fight is. Is that those of us who believe in the purity and the sanctity and the 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 exclusivity of Jesus plus nothing. That's where the problem starts from. Same level of love. I'm loved as Jesus is loved. And it is Bible. We've not even entered epistles. I'm reading John, Ephesians 1, 7, TPT. The same love with which he has loved Jesus, he has given to us. There's a teaching that wants to put Jesus in a class and the believer in another class. It's not of God. As he is, so are we. Any class that he is, we are there. So you, we, we, whilst we, we worship him, we love him for what he's done for us. We do not remove ourselves from the benefits of what he has done. Any teaching that puts Jesus in a class and then puts you in a different class is not Bible. Because the real teaching is that Jesus in this, is in this class. He has brought me into that class. That's the Godhead. The God class. We joint heirs. It's joint heirs. Okay. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be where I am that they may behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but have known you. And these have known that you sent me, and I have declared to them your name, and will declare it, that the love with, with which you love me, hey, this matter again, no, I, I have to send this life to this woman. Because I, I'm significant woman and you are, you are fighting. So he said it, it's like he knew that there will be, this woman will be there. He said it in verse 23. He's saying it in verse 26 again. So that they may experience the same endless love that you have for me. That's what TPT is saying. That they may, the same, not a version, not a taste, not a portion. This is where the fight usually comes from. People of God, we are not the ones causing this fight. And, I'm, and I don't even call people out. But I'm just saying, but this is the word of God now. You cannot now tell me that I'm not as loved as Jesus is loved. Let's give Jesus his respect. That's just a way of dishonoring Jesus. I'm like, I, I saw it in the Bible. Fight the Bible. Stop fighting me. The price to pay for the anointing. Hey, Odu.
And it's not my fault that you have refused to study the Bible. And I cannot apologize for knowledge. And the price to pay for the anointing, how much? That's the very good question. How much? How much? Let me you see. Those of you who are still in the memory verse, verse 23 and verse 26 is very important. And I have declared to them your name and will declare it. The, the result of declaring your name and 26. I'll read it in verse 26. That you I, that the love which you with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. TPT, verse 17, verse 26, and then we'll close. Um, so please, um, okay. I have revealed to them who you are and I will continue to make you even more real to them so that they may experience the same endless love. The same endless love. How can you tell me that the love of God is conditional? Why? Why would you say that? Hmm? Why? That it is undeserving, but it's conditional. Why? Where did that come from? What kind of sophisticated DJ is that? It is undeserving, but it's... Why? I have revealed to them who you are and will continue to make you even more real to them so that they may experience the same endless love that you have for me. For your love will now leave Kabaye. Oh. Your love will now leave in them even as I leave. Your love will now live in them even as I now live in them. God loves you. Which realm is higher than Jesus? So there is no... Which realm is higher than Jesus now? I don't know. Any realm higher than Jesus, I'm not interested in. Any realm higher than Jesus, I'm not interested in that realm. I leave it for the senior men. A realm higher than Jesus. I don't want to enter that realm. But I am as loved as Jesus. God loves me. And somebody, this needs to be your security. I am as loved as Jesus. And I will not be, I will not apologize for the integrity and the simplicity and the the power of the gospel i am as loved as jesus i am as loved as jesus and the subscription to get this love is believe in what jesus has done for you i am as loved as jesus jesus is the beloved son of god i am the beloved son of god I'm as loved as Jesus. He loves me. He loves me unconditionally. They say they should ascend into realms. The realm that Jesus is not there, I will not enter with you people. I'm as loved as Jesus. I'm as loved as Jesus. Father, I pray for everyone watching this morning that they would experience this love of God which is in Christ. Whew. That they will experience this joy unspeakable. That they will experience this grace unending. That they will know that they are fiercely loved by Jesus. They would understand how they are fiercely loved by Jesus. I pray, Abba, that none of them will walk outside of the revelation of the love of God 
which is in Christ Jesus. And that is our prayer today that we live moving knowing that we are consumed by this love. And we are specially preserved, kept by this love of God. And nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. This is the truth of the gospel. And we move in that reality in Jesus' much less name. Guys, Lily Perez. Lily Perez has a song about the love of God. Please, find Lily Perez's album. You must listen to it today. You are not listening to me. Lily Perez's album. Find the album today. There is one particular track about the love of Jesus. Ah, if you listen to it, if you do not understand this chapter, the song will help you to come into it. In Jesus' name. Abba's love. Go and listen to that song. Um, Dan the Humorous, what track is it? That Lily Perez song about love. It's a tune, I'm telling you. Go and listen to it. Abba, find it, find it, find it. Listen to Abba's love. Because a lot of people are not conscious that God loves them. You are very conscious how the devil hates you. That's why I remind you in my declaration, God loves you more than the devil hates you. There's no prayer as you go today. The prayer today is that I will walk in the revelation that I'm loved by God. That's the prayer. Today, the prayer point is I will walk in the revelation that I'm loved by God. I think it's in all platforms, including Apple, Apple Music. Lily Perez, Abba, Abba's love. You walk in the re- in the knowing that no book, track four. Oshie, Adenike, track four. Go and find it. I walk in the revelation that I am loved by God. That you daily experience the unending love. No condemnation, no separation. Daddy loves me. You, I need you to stay in that revelation. I need you to stay in that revelation. Once you understand that love, it will heal your insecurities. It will even heal your body. It will heal your mind. You will hear from him clearly. Oh, I want to hear from God. Know his love. His love, you hear from him clearly. Know his love. With his love, you hear from him clearly. It's because you do not know that you are loved by God. You can't hear from somebody that you, that you, you, you believe hates you. You will not even understand what he's saying. When he smiles to you, you think he's about to kill you. So please, find that, understand. Father, I pray for your people one more time. That if we come into a deep revelation absolute revelation about the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. That somebody who's going through a heartbreak, a hard time, a tough season right now, that you'll be consumed by the love of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Because we know it is done in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Abba's love, Lily Perez, track four. Use that one to just hold yourself as you go into the day this Tuesday. Just use that one to cleanse and wash your your insecurities, your your traumas and everything. Just let the let. So let's go like that. That's how we're going. That's how we're going. 